Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, it's new wheel day. Woohoohoo! Super excited really. Um, so the wheel arrived, well I'll tell you the story. But uh, yes, so I went for the Kingsong S22 in the end. After many a uh, um and ahs between the master, and waiting for the T4, waiting for the Sherman S, um, and then also the S22. I decided finally in the UK, the wheel that you can get the most of is the S22. And the ones that we are currently, well, the, the ones currently in the country, looks like it doesn't have um, the motor stator issue. So, and it's also the ones that has been upgraded a little bit. So it's not batch one. I'm happy with that. I'm keen, um, I'm, I'm happy to, to 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 take that risk that's that's what i'm saying but let me quickly explain to you how i how i managed to get this wheel so um i had my feelers out at a few dealers and um i said to them listen guys um what can you do for me for my s18 because um, i want to chop in my s18 because i since this wheel was launched i like the look of it the master probably rides um with a much better suspension, uh, softer suspension, um, and it doesn't need that much maintenance compared to the S2022. But I've seen so many other videos where the guys are upgrading the sliders and this and that and the other. But taking that, um, putting that stuff all to the side, all the feedback that I've received for the master year in the UK has been that the wheel has been plagued with small little issues. Some large, some medium, some small. Um, the problem with that for me is currently, I would like to ride the wheel, not have the wheel um, in the shop every every few months. Um, or, or uh, you know, like one of the guys on the electricpeople.org forum, um, one of uh, one of the main one of the um, boards basically came loose, refitting that. Um, that sort of the um, the master out. That's perfectly fine. I really don't mind um, mind that setup because listen, the master looks like a great wheel, and I would love to try a master out just to compare it against this beast. Um, but the thing is, this one reported less issues in the UK from the dealer perspective compared to the master. So I thought myself, stuff it. I'm just going to get the S22 and then just ride it, see how it goes. So I had my feeders out with the dealers. Um, I know Speedy Feed gives a, I think a 20, 25% uh, trade-in um, price for the wheel that you've bought from, fr from them. So um, that was a little bit low. I was also contemplating of selling it privately and I thought to myself, I can't, I can't be asked to deal with that. And then um, the guys from Personal Electric Transport, they um, sorted me out with a really good trade-in and then I also, um, they also had the wheel in stock. So um, jumped in the van, drove down to uh, Person Electric Transport, um, swapped the wheel, they checked the S18, everything was good. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna um, replace the bearings on the S18 because the bearings look like it's been, uh, it's been, it's passed, passed its, 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 uh, its, its good days, <laughs> quite, quite sadly really. But the thing is this, is, this is a thing, just on the bearing side for your wheel before you want to sell it or trade it, or, or trade it in. I never did a lift test on the S18. I did it when it was new, that's perfectly fine. Um, when you lay the wheel on its side and you spin the, spin the tire, you spin the wheel around, um, it, it actually is nice and quiet. Um, when you ride the wheel, um, it's, it is very quiet. Even, even um, Vlad, uh, uh, Vlad from Personal Electric Transport said um, the wheel is very quiet but then he did the lift test and yes the bearings is busted so they're gonna have to replace that so um, yeah they gave me a really good trading I went to pick up the wheel super happy with the wheel um, it's a beast really compare this thing to like the S18 or even the Sherman it's a big wide chunky wheel um, the sliders is nice and lubricated now, so it, so so the suspension works really well. I just did a probably about a 20 minutes ride in the road around my area just to just to see how the wheel performs and if everything is good and whatever. 
and everything has been fine. But dropping down pavements and stuff, it is, it's, it is like a, it's like a downhill mountain bike shock feeling. I've done some uh, mountain bike down downhill racing and stuff when I was younger, and this this shock feels exactly the same. I've set all the just the base settings on the shocks on the shock um, to um, the compression halfway and the rebound also halfway, and I'll go with that for the time being. I, I first want to ride in. It's still locked, speed locked, um, till I can do my whatever 15, 15 or 20, 20 miles before it gets unlocked. So I'm just going to try that out, just get the wheel sorted out. What I've done so far, every night when I got when I when I got home because I had to order some stuff and this and that and the other, um, I took um, the pads and I removed all the uh, 3M tape stickiness and I put uh, Velcro on both sides. Um, I left this this triangle on. This angle of the of the pad is really good. Um, what I've done is also um, fitted more more um, uh, Velcro down here and I'll put some more Velcro down to the bottom as well because I'm just waiting for it. I thought a, a meter is going to be enough but it looks like I need more than a meter. So um, I'm waiting for that order then I'm going to cover the sides with uh, Velcro and because then I can take my Grizzler pads off my Sherman and just plonk it on here. Right on this, two uses for one set of Grizzler pads because the Grizzler pads is quite expensive. So, um, so that's what I've done. I've I've, I've stick the uh, Velcro on um, on on both sides, and this is this is absolutely this is this industrial strength uh, Velcro. It works quite well. That angle on the on the on the um, pad is quite nice. I didn't put that little other fairing bits in, so there is a lot of flexi on the back. I really don't mind it. It gives me enough uh, uh, thing, and then I fit it um, fit the top seat. I like that as well. Um, the pedals for me, the pedals, the 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 one that I test drove or test rode way way back. This is now uh, beginning of summer, really, um, and the one from from Speedy Feet. The pedals, uh, the nubbins on the pedals or the spikes. That it's not really sp spikes because it's just a little little um, nubbin thing. It was very smooth. Now these ones feel like they're a little bit sharper and they grow quite nicely. So I'm happy with that as with that as well. Um, yes, the wheel is uh, rear heavy. So if you if you let it go, it will just run backwards. Um, I never really have a problem um, with 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 that um, with any of my wheels really. Um, but I'll see how that goes. You know, it's it's a it's a brand new wheel. And you need to get used to it. Most of these things you need to get used to it. And then I'll see if I need to upgrade the sliders or how much maintenance is really involved in the sliders. Again, we get very little dust here. It's only like in the midsummer where it's like this year it was really dusty. Um, that 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 is going to uh, uh, gunk up with um, with 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 um, dust and so forth. Um, but I'll see. I'll see how um, easy it is to keep clean, and then also what options is available when um, when it becomes for me a problem to actually clean. So I like it when it runs smoothly. So I'll keep it as clean as possible. Um, it 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 looks to me like it's easier to keep clean compared to my S18. In any case, because the S18s um, um, shaft was like it always the, the little dust boots came off, and I always had to try and get in there with a little with a little brush to get the dust and stuff out. Where this, I can put a little cloth in there and just keep it keep it keep it clean. But I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, other things uh, connect to the app that all works fine. I like the clearance between the mud guard on the inside and and the tire. That is all cool. Um, just switch it on. There we go. The beast is on. That funky uh, uh, tail light. I'll probably change that as that as that as well to just red or something like that. But yeah, as you guys can see, if I if I take my hands off, it runs back. <laughs> so it's a it's got a big bum. It's got a big bum. It's this this one is the big bum version. But yeah, <laughs> um, the this this handle at the back. I'll probably never use that handle. Um, it's pretty much the same as the handle on my SAT, never really use it. I had it on the up position so I can carry, carry the wheel or catch the wheel when I need to get off. 
there's no real place to catch the wheel. Yes, you can catch it on this front bar and that's quite nice, but you have to really grab on here so to, to actually get a, get a good um, grip on the wheel. Um, other things, I like the shock. It looks like really beefy shock. The whole suspension system feels like it's nice and smooth. Well, it is brand new, so so that's probably probably why this um, this back uh, 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 footrest. The thing is, I thought to myself, I'm going to put this wheel in all the all the normal, um, you know, my upside down uh, 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 planters, the fit in here. This wheel is too tall. Everything is just too too big and bulky to um, for for this thing to actually fit in anything. It's, it's larger than the Sherman. So uh, I've been using I've been using the um, this foot rest and it works really well. It is really really stable. It's quite nice to be able to not have to put your wheel in anything. It just sits in the garage, or I can push it into anywhere, in any small little place. I can angle it into it, and it's and it's perfectly and it's perfectly fine. Um, what else can I say? Um, the tire inflated. I'm going to keep the knobby tire on here for the UK weather. This stuff is just like, an, I need the mud to get out. I need to run a track in the mud rather than um, stay on top of it for the road tires. So I'll keep this tire on there and I'll probably not change it till I've done probably a good solid um, amount of miles. It's inflated to, I think, to 3 bar, uh, 30 psi. Um, I'll drop that as well. That was just inflated just to check the tires running nice and smooth. I did a a a, um, a lift test. Vlad uh, from Personal Electric Transit did a did a did a, a, a spin test. The wheel checks out fine, and the motor checks out fine. They also at Personal Electric Transport um, uh, done the stator upgrade. So they opened the wheel and they f fixed the um, or they secured the stator so it you can't well you you you're not going to run into the issue so um hopefully cross fingers that that is that is the that is the case um anything anything else um i don't know i need to just get out and ride this wheel it's minus six today so um i'm not gonna have time to ride the wheel um also my also my wife is um is is um, out of out of the country, so um, I have to look after my daughter, and <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to get home. It's pitch dark and whatever. Oh, the other thing that I want to mention is the lights. You know the you know the lights might be um, flimsy, um, but it but it doesn't change. Um, it's it's got a, a good enough um, uh, clip. You know, it's got a good enough clip, like a a a watch's bezel that it doesn't uh, jump from one clip to the other stuff. And it's super powerful lights. And the other thing that I really enjoy is you can set the one light to be higher and the other light to be lower. So you can really adjust it exactly how you want to uh, have the beam throw on the road. So if you want to um, have a further beam on the side of the road where, where you're going to maybe get some potholes or whatever, and the other beam lower because you're more in the in the road you can really adjust it so i thought that was uh, that was a really good um a really good uh, setting and it's a powerful light you know the app works um i sorted out the app i tried to register the app again it looks like my password expired Tippy, typical chinese app doesn't work that well it doesn't send an send and reset password it's just so i'll faff around with that at another stage um, the EUC World app works sweet. So um, anything else? Can't think of anything else. Um, but super happy with the wheel. Um, something they get used to because it's a beast of a wheel. Um, and I think, I hope, cross my fingers that this thing is going to be solid and not give me any trouble. Because if something gives me trouble, it's, it's, a, it's a very short period of time, then I sort of lose trust in it. And the stuff takes a bit of time to build trust again. So uh, um, I, I hope this one is good. I'll treat it well, and hopefully it will treat me well. So, <laughs> but yeah, guys, if, you, uh, if, you, if, you, if you're still here and you enjoy the waffle, please um, subscribe to the channel to follow along the 
what do you call it, honeymoon period with a Kingsong S22. Um, and then further on, I want to try and get at least 1,000 miles on this wheel. I want to try and get at least 1,000 miles on all my wheels before I sell them on. And I think if I'm going to sell this wheel on, I'll see, if, see about the trading, but then also um, also, also uh, 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 see about selling it private, pri uh, privately. But yeah, um, I did a quick <laughs> spin test to check the bearings on the Sherman, and I think I'm going to send the Sherman into for an MOT at Speedy Feet um, to see if they can um, just check the wheel for me over and make sure everything is spot on. Because I think the Sherman is going to be replaced with a Sherman S when it actually arrives. So I want to, I want to have the Sherman in tip-top condition. Not that there's any problems at the moment. The Sherman runs sweet still. Best mile eating wheel I've ever ridden. Really, it's such a great wheel. Even for trails, I love that wheel. It's got this, it's got the low, low, um, low um, pedal, the pedal height, but it's still perfect. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, get get that thing. And then I also just want to mention, guys, um, the guys at Personal Electric Transport, the service, the communication, um, the the um, quick response that they can that they gave me to um, um, think about an option, how they're gonna, um, how I'm gonna be able to get the wheel in, trade in. Um, uh, communication about um, what is available, if everything is fixed on the wheel, is the wheel checked, the firm has been updated, everything has been done, um, till, till the option to go and um, collect the wheel on a Saturday, that's also for me sometimes, well it is important for, for me because I'm not going to take a day's holiday to go and fetch a wheel, um, because it is for me, um, Speedy Feet and Personal Electric Transport is a four hour round trip to actually get to them so when so when i go there it's pretty much half my day gone on a saturday where i could be riding making videos getting you guys excited about electric unicycles <laughs> well okay guys this is just the initial impression overview look and feel of this s20 20, 22 and um, when i rode it back when i really enjoyed it and it is still for me an awesome beast but yeah if you want to Keep on following, hit that bell, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it out, and let's grow the channel. I want to get to 2,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. It's my yearly, yearly boost. Um, this winter, I'm going to try and get to 2,000 subs subscribers, and then next winter, I want to get to 3,000 subscribers. So I've got loads of work to do, but I can only do it with you guys helping me out. So, okay, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about the S22 and what I think about it and my, my method in the madness why I went for this wheel, please drop it in the comments below. If there's any, any, any um, tips and tricks about the wheel, please let me, let me, let me know. Rider, tire pressures, all that type of things. Drop it in the comments below so I can set it so when I get out, I'm ready to rock and roll. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.